To start off with my boxing career, I never really wanted to even box. My dad just bought me some gloves one day. I like I like the look of it. I love being around it. But me being in the ring myself, I never wanted to fight. And I asked my dad for a pair of gloves and some trunks one day. And that was my biggest mistake. And he ended up saying, okay, I got you the gloves, so now you're fighting. From there, I just, I, had, I was in tournaments and I enjoyed winning, but when I was in the ring, I was just so nervous because I knew my brother was watching and, and he's such, he was such a big inspiration to me that I didn't want to let him down or my dad down. I was always nervous, always really nervous to fight up until about, I was like 14, 15. I was always back and forth with basketball because in fifth grade I was doing basketball and so that was my passion and I had some, I had some good things going with basketball, but then I had some health issues pop up and that pushed me again away some more and so it was just my mind thinking is this meant for me is this a sign from God saying hey this isn't for you anymore stick to something else or is this just hey take a step back don't push yourself so hard you know relax a little bit and then you know what whatever I have down down for you is, is it's what's perfect well, it definitely was hard for my family to see me away from the sport but once I came back, um, my, my, my dad was extremely uh, happy. Uh, my mom was extremely happy. She knew that this is a sport that I was meant for. Um, and ever since then, it was just a, a hard grind to, to get back into it. And um, once I got signed and, and was blessed to be with Golden Boy Promotions, um, I had my first fight lined up and it was just a lot of excitement. Um, a little bit of butterflies, but more of it just from the excitement of going from the amateurs into the pros and it's just a, a huge stage, you know, being under the HBO After Dark card and, and being streamed live internationally and, and having all these people behind me and, and just stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit just because it's just a completely different jump from the amateurs and and the feeling was just full of excitement and then after the the knockout it was it was great. It was just an adrenaline rush that was going on for about a couple of weeks and then now it's just back to normal. My name is Alex Rincon, born and raised out of Carrollton, Texas, and you're looking at the future world champion.